What's good, Hampton? Thank you guys once again for tuning in. As you guys can see on the thumbnail and on the title, right? We're going to be doing a reaction to ACP. Um, pretty much a video that he made um, on a person that happens to be from my hood. Um, happened to know him personally. And there were some things that were said on the video, man, that I mean, I wanted to put my two cents in it, you know? So before I get started, man, make sure to hit them likes. Make sure to subscribe, hit that follow, hit that notification bell in case we go live. Or just in case you guys want to drop comments, man, make sure to drop it. You know what I mean? Just let me know what you guys think. Because I know that Doughboy is a, a person that is well known in Watson. You know what I'm saying? He is someone that's well known. I will be putting my two cents, especially on some of the details that were put on, on Flacco's video. You know, um, where he's talking about, I believe his name was Toker. He said something about Toker. Where he would pretty much uh, try to get at the higher ups, you know, to get people deemed. And sometimes, well, actually not sometimes, most of the times, you know, because Doughboy did put some people uh, on the on the bad uh, on the, on the no good list. You know what I'm saying? Or just got them whacked um, just because he didn't like them or, or because they were getting at the female that he happened to be with or happened to like. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, man. So just to make some things clear, I'm not going to like bash if you guys were thinking on flag or, or try to say that the video uh wasn't true at all now nah, i'm not gonna say none of that most of the things that were said on, on that video they do check out bro you know they do check out uh doughboy it's, it's never he was never really looked at you know by other other c's and others uh and souls you know because at that time there was a lot of a lot of bros out there um, that didn't really respect him like that. But he was a carnal, especially in the town. And the ones that were from the town, well, they had to obey, homie, no matter what. You, you know, he still had that title that 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 people respect, you know, and they fear. So they would still do what he would say. And he did try to push a hard line, bro, especially with the youngsters, you know, because he did have a, a couple of tattoos that Flacco mentioned that he had to cover up. You know, and those tattoos, when people would see them, homie, um, let's just be quite honest, bro. You, you you tend to be like, oh, okay, this fool's with the business. Even if they look like Lancho, I mean, Doughboy, I mean, Doughboy, he is, a, he, he is a fat, he is a fat guy, bro. You know, he's pretty fat and short, so it looks kind of funny. Even though they look like that, once you see those tattoos or, you know, hey, they had to do some some things, you know what I'm saying? At least that's what pe a lot of people think. But there is a lot of favoritism when it comes to those organizations, you know, there is a lot of favoritism. And if you happen to be in the right spot, you can become a made member. And that's probably more than likely what happened with Doughboy. But like I was saying, man, he he, he was someone in town uh, or well, he was well known in town for for pushing his, uh, his weight around. You know what I'm saying? Literally, you know, he was pushing his weight around. And he would try to, like, uh, tell the youngsters and a lot of youngsters, even though he made a hood, he actually approved a hood that I'm actually going to be doing a profile real soon on. Right. And like I was saying earlier, he, he did like to show off like with the youngsters and the females, you know, because when if there was females around and this is something that I didn't agree with, man. But this is this happens with all gangs, bro, with all gangs. And even though I didn't agree with it till this day, more than likely those things still happen, you know, and that's why you, you hear about rappers getting caught with underage females and stuff like that, because most of the time. When these older homies get out and they're kicking it in, in certain like uh, functions or whatever, right, where, the, where all the homies from the hood are at, more than likely the females that are there, they're always, they're young, homie. You know what I'm saying? They happen to be young because they're, they're dating someone that um, happens to be in the teenage stage, right? Because that's when a lot of the gang banging um, or a lot of the, the, the youngsters are the ones actually banging, right? So they bring their females and their females bring their friends. And it's it's not a good image, bro, but he would be someone that would like to show off. And there's, just to give you guys a little insight, man, uh, Big Rome's baby mama happens to be one of Doughboy's love. You know what I mean? He was in love with fucking uh, Big Rome's fucking baby mama, bro. As a matter of fact, I believe that he still has her name tatted on his dome piece. And I don't, I don't honestly don't know how old she was, you know, cause this was a, a, a girl that was kicking it with my, with my ex, you know, and she was over there kicking it with the, with the homeboys and all that. And I, I didn't put that shit out there before, but I don't like to get into those details because you you know, man, they try to get me with the little, one of them sues. But those were things as a youngster, man, that I would notice, you know, like a lot of the older homies would be messing around with, 
Like some of the females that would just be there, bro, and they wouldn't ask how old they were. You know what I'm saying? Um, but let's not get into that topic. But yeah, Doughboy was someone that would fall in love hella fast and push his weight around, bro. Like to show off, like I like I was saying. So Big Rome got lucky that pretty much he didn't get deemed. You know, he didn't get deemed. I'm pretty sure that once Big Rome got with old old girl, more than likely either Doughboy was already a defected. Or something, right? Because I know Doughboy more than likely who would have put him on the fucking least on. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> and there's hella funny stories to add when it comes to uh, some of Doughboy's love stories, you know? Because there was a couple of homies of uh, like Bellon and Lucifer. A couple of the homies from the hood, man, that had fun with them, you know? Like when they would tell them like, hey, bro, you're, you're, you're dating a little hoochie, you know, if we want to uh, pick her up, we could pick her up, and there's little funny stories about that, man, that if you guys want to hear later down the line, we can get into it, man, but on this one, like I was saying, man, um, let's get back to Doughboy and, and that reaction video, right, they also had said uh, pretty much that he would deem people, right, on that reaction video, so yeah, he was someone, man, that would lie a lot, you know, and you would literally have to be on your toes when it came to Doughboy because he would put a front, homie, like he could put a front where he seems to be hella cool with you. And I hate people like that, to be quite honest. Right. But we give Doughboy a pass, you know, especially because I happen to know his brother and his brother, me and his brother happen to be hella cool. And um, so we give him a pass, you know, but Doughboy happens to be someone, man, that he'll show you like a, a, a good face. But at the end of the day, bro, he'll get you whacked, homie. Like if he can get someone else to do his dirty work, he's just that type of individual, you know. But uh, so a lot of people did get deemed uh, while he was active. And, and most of those, man, were like pegadas that weren't rightly approved homie you know what i'm saying i remember there was a brother uh in the county that got whacked um and technically he had got removed bro just because doughboy was over there saying that he was getting at his female bro and i'm not quite sure but if, if she was because that old girl uh, baby, uh big rome's baby mama and I, i'm not gonna put no names or nothing like that right but she did get around homie you know i'll just say that too she's someone that she, she's cool like she's a good ass homegirl and everything but at the end of the day, she gets hers, you know, and it is what it is. But while he was active, uh, dope boy, man, um, at least in the town, right? He was someone that you didn't want to disrespect, um, especially for those reasons, you know, he would get certain haters to just get on you, homie. And he would find certain avenues. And especially once you're clicked up, I mean, it's not that hard, man, especially if you just happen to be a regular and or whatever to get you on that list, you know, so a lot of people did, did fear him in that sense, but he did make a hood in what's on, and he did do some things, homie, even though a lot of people try to say, like, Doughboy wasn't really, never with, like, 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 with it like that, right, um, you can't really say that, you know, because maybe he won't chunk him, like, maybe he, he, he can't fight for shit, but you give him a, a pedazo or technically uh allegedly one of those allegedly's and he'll put it down homie you know he's actually someone that's known for taking care of what he has to take care of especially if it comes to him getting disrespected as a matter of fact he's doing time right now as we speak he did beat his case the last one he got out and uh he is back in in, in county he's back in the county and he's pretty much fighting a hot one, you know, he's fighting an attempted. And that's why I kind of haven't really spoke about it. And technically, I can get him on, homie. I can get him on. I just got to get him on a freaking uh, county phone call and actually talk to him like, hey, fool, jump on the thing. But I know at the same time, more than likely, this fool's stressed out that game, you know. I know he happens to be stressed out right now, man. He had just got out. He didn't last long at all. So that's more, that's one of the reasons why I haven't got him out because I know he's stressed out. But I'll see what I can do. I can get him on the thing. If you guys happen to want to know a little bit more about Doughboy, you know, just let's not ask him about his case or anything like that. That's the only thing I'm going to ask. But I have done time with Doughboy and I'm not going to lie to you, man. I would get a good little laugh, you know, because Doughboy would get into some shit in the county. And we would go over there to, like to pretty much to be nosy, bro, just to see what, if he was going to get off or not. 
and always found a way to talk out to talk out of a situation. It even got to the point where me, I had to tell his ass, right? Me, um, my brother, and even Bad Boy, right? Bad Boy. We had to tell him shit like, hey, homie, next time you got to get off. You know what I'm saying? And I know fools are going to be like, what the fuck? Why are you over here telling this about to get off? Nah, it's just that he was making the hood look bad, homie. So we we're like, nah, you got to get off, G. And um, at that time, he was in a, in a writer tank. He was right there programming with us. He's not a writer. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a video clearing a lot of things when it comes to this writer conversation. But let's be real, guys. Uh, Doughboy, he is someone that is a funny character, homie, because he would try to show off about certain little things. And I would sh I shot him down. I would always shoot him down like, hey, homie, how does it feel, G? To be a big homie at one point and now see the little homie as your big homie, G. <laughs> and he would get hella upset, homie. But at the end of the day, he didn't have the authority that he once had. So he had it just taken a strive. And with all that being said, Henty, I'm going to end this video right here. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you happen to know a little bit about Doughboy or you happen to want to reach out to, to Doughboy, right? And send him letters or whatever. Let me know in the comments, man. I will get his information so that you guys can reach out to him if you happen to know him personally. So with all that being said, man. If you happen to like the video, make sure to hit a like, make sure to subscribe, hit that follow, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. And drop comments to let me know what you guys think. So with all that being said, this is your boy Conejo. We out. It's EBK every day, all day, to the day I die. It's EBK.